Hi, I am going to show you guys today in Photoshop Elements 15 how to edit some photos and I know this is uh, something everybody likes to do. You know every photo usually needs a little bit of editing. Um, I've got one in here that we're gonna I'm gonna show you that doesn't need a whole lot of editing just a little bit and then one that's um, pretty bad in yellow and um, so we're gonna fix that one too. Okay, so first I want to start, I, I just want to duplicate these. If for some reason you do something you don't like and then you save it and it's gone, I mean you can always do undo, but I like to duplicate. So I'm just going to right click. Well, first of all, you guys, I've, I've opened up two photos and they're in my photo bin. Okay, so if you don't remember how to open photos, you're just going to go to File, Open, and you'll navigate to... Uh, where they are, where your photo is, and click on it and then hit open and it'll bring it into the program. And then I minimized them so they're now in my photo bin. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate them. So I'm going to right click. This one has the blue box around it, so that's the one we're dealing with now. Hit duplicate and then just hit OK. And then minimize them both. Now, if you want to go ahead and close this one, the original one, you can but you don't have to. And then I'm going to duplicate this one as well. Okay, so now I have two of each in my photo bin. And okay, I'm going to start with this one. And I'm just going to move it over a little bit here. Okay, so this picture is you know it's not it's not the greatest picture but it's not um, it's not as far as brightness goes it's not too bad I it does need a little cropping it's a little crooked up the top but I'm not going to deal with that today I'm just going to show you guys cropping so we're going to maybe take this part out over here on the side and then I'm going to show you how to brighten it up just a little bit and then that's all that I'm going to do on on this photo so to crop it, we're going to make sure that we have our crop tool highlighted over here on the side, on the left. And then I'm just going to start on this corner and I'm, going to, I'm holding my mouse button down and I'm dragging to about there, I think. There we go. And if you like this, you can still grab and pull and make it different, you know, change it if you want to. So it's not permanent yet until you apply and click the little check mark down here at the bottom. Now it's cropped. I think it's all right. I don't know. I could probably take a little bit more off this side, maybe off the right. There we go. Now it just looks a little more centered on the door. Okay, now what I want to do is the um, brightness a little bit. So I'm going to hit this button I'm, there. So create new fill or adjustment layers, basically what this round shape with the half blue, half white. We're going to click on that and you have some options. So we're going to hit levels right here. And then what you'll see pop up is these dark areas. And what I want to do is scoot this little triangle. I'm, I'm clicking on it. I'm holding down my mouse button and I am moving over. And as I'm moving over, the see, can you see it getting lighter? Now that's just way overexposed. But if you go to right where this big spike is, it really brightens it up enough. You can even go a little bit more if you want to. And I, I, you know, I like that. So I'm just going to close that out. And now we have this layer over here um, for that, for just for that adjustment. If you didn't like it, you could always right click on this and you could delete this layer. It would take it back to the way it was before you did that but I kind of like that. So then I would just save this and close it out 
um, if you want to, we can show you the difference. Here's the before and the after. See the brightness of the door and everything? It's just a lot brighter. So we'll just, oops, cancel that. Minimize those and then we'll go with this one. This one's all needs a lot of work. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it bigger so we can see the whole picture here. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is crop again because we've got this weird kind of shadow here and this weird kind of shadow down here and I'm gonna get those out of there. The second thing and the last thing that I'm gonna do after we do all our editing is I'll rotate it because this is hanging. So it's actually the picture is sideways. So it's hanging from a hook, but, but I mean, that doesn't really matter, but I'll show you how to rotate the picture at the end here. So first I'm gonna crop out these little weird shadows. So we're just gonna have kind of a long skinny picture. Okay, and we'll apply. Okay, now this is very yellow, but first I wanna do the, the levels like we did before. So I'm gonna hit the little round half circle thing. <laughs> I wish I knew what that was called. I'm so technical. Okay, we're gonna hit levels. And this is way over here, so I'm just gonna bring it over, make it brighter, first of all. Okay, so that's pretty good. Then what I wanna do is get rid of and make it, try to make it more white and less yellow. So it's the same button, but we're gonna hit photo filter and right now we've got this warming filter. So if there's a drop down menu here, and I'm gonna hit this cooling filter 82. And I'm not sure what the 82 is, but I'm gonna hit that and right away it makes it brighter. But this little bar, you can move that. If you go too far, you get blue because it's cooling, it's a cooling filter. we we'll do about right there, but we're not gonna be done yet. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna hit this again, and I'm gonna hit levels again, because I'm gonna brighten this one now. And it is kinda, it shows different here, but I'm just gonna brighten that up. Now if you wanted to cool it, do a little more cooling, on, you could. Let's just see what that does. We hit the that one more time. Now if it's too blue, you can go down the other way and make it a little whiter. Or a little add a little more yellow so it's not quite so blue. Look at that. Okay. And now look at the original one. Look what we did there. Oops, but I mean, you can just tell without me having to do all this, but oops, oh my gosh, excuse me. Yeah, look at the difference there in the color. That's, that's amazing that Photoshop can um, do that, but that makes a really bad picture into something that's not so bad. Now, I told you I'd show you how to rotate. Okay, so we have this picture. We're going to go to image, rotate, and then we wanna, let's see, flip layer 90 degrees to the right, I think we'll do it. Oh, sorry. Initial bounding rectangle is empty. <laughs> you know what? Let's I like this. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how to merge these layers. So, we are click on the top one which is already highlighted and then we're going to hold our shift key down and click on the background. So, all of them are highlighted. Right click and then merge the layers. That's what you do if you like this photo the way you have it. <laughs> you can still do some adjusting to it now, but, and you could hit undo 
if you want to unmerge those right now, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now we have this highlighted image, rotate. There we go. There. Now it's hanging, and you can tell it's hanging. So now we can save it. File, save as. And I don't know if I want to save it there, but that's just what you would name it and put it in where in the photo that the folder that you want it to go into. Okay, so amazing, right? I love this program for editing photos, and you can just keep working it until you get it the way you like it. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me and or go onto the blog at michellejdesigns.com and go to the contact form and send me a message if you want to. Um, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a good day.